start of my club series. So today is basically the preparations. I'm going to show you how to find the right club horse, outfit, and name. So yeah, let's get right into it. So let's say that I'm going to make a dressage club. So I'm going to choose a Dutch Hornblood. I also want to choose a horse that a lot of people, like, it's pretty common. You want to have a common horse. You're not going to want to get, like, some crazy version of, like, the Fjord or something, you know? Yo, what the? You're going to want a horse that a lot of people already have. So that way it's just easier for them and they can just already get started on the club outfit. Okay, so next is the outfit, like tack, and also the rider. Again, it depends on what you're going to be doing. If you're going to be doing dressage, you're not going to want a western outfit. So you want something affordable with good stats. It doesn't mean everything in your outfit has to be like under 100 star coins. Like, obviously it's going to be kind of hard. Star step is kind of expensive. Try your best to find things that are good Yorvik shillings, maybe... A few thousand garlic shillings. Try not to do like 10,000. Like, no. Nobody's gonna try to grind for that. You also wanna make it match. So, say I'm looking for a purple top, you know, I'm gonna want like a matching purple saddle pad. And if you can't find that, maybe just do like a white instead of doing like, say, this red saddle pad. You know, you wanna have it match. You wanna have it look good. People are gonna wanna wear this. This is gonna represent you. When they see that outfit, they're gonna know it's you. Just make sure it all matches. Make sure your horse like matches with the rider. Make sure it all goes together. Make sure it all matches the vibe you're wanting to go for. You're also going to want to give your members a good amount of time to buy the outfit. So for me, I have four months to get the horse and outfit combined. If they need more time, they can just mail me. Like it's not a big deal. Just I want you to get it as soon as possible because it makes us look good. You know, you feel a part of us. Okay, I gotta get onto my alt for this one, but this one is the club name. Obviously, I can't do that on my main because I'm, you know, you know. Okay, um, what do we, oh, yeah, I need a car pick up, Ooh. Okay, on the club names, you're gonna want something that goes along with your outfit. So you're gonna either make the name first or the outfit first, but you want it to go hand in hand. For example, if you have maybe a blue outfit, you could do the first name blue. Maybe you could do the first name day and maybe you'd have like a yellow, orange, or red outfit. Maybe you would do earth for green. Maybe you would do fairy for, um, I don't know, any color really. Happy for again, yellow, metal for gray, purple for purple. So I'm going to go with purple for this one because now for the second name, this, you want to make like, you want to have something that makes sense. Purple foxes. Is that going to make sense? No, bro. Foxes are like orange. Purple foxes isn't going to make sense. You, if you're doing like a western club and you use a mustangs, maybe you could do purple mustangs. Now, for the last name, you want to have it be something, just two names if you can. Honestly, it's pretty hard to get that now. With all, like, you think you think you think of a good name. Like, oh, purple sister, like, nobody's going to take that. Like, no, people have taken that so many times. So you just got to find like, a last name that you love. So my personal favorites are league legacy nation ink yeah basically that okay so say i'm gonna go with purple sisters nation that goes with my outfit you know it's gonna it's gonna all make sense i'm not gonna have a bright orange outfit with purple sisters nation i hope this helped anyone who's going to be planning on starting a club see you guys next week bye <laughs>